Learn to use your online class space for the Graduate Diploma of Professional Psychology and Masters of Psychology Clinical. We're aiming to learn how to log into the student portal and navigate around it. We'll look at staying informed with your course, what to do in the class spaces each week and how to find and submit assignments. We'll also look at the Professional Psychology Hub, which is also called Magnet, which has placement and research resources. There's a link to the student portal on your college website up here in the top right. You can also go directly to the student portal at this address. When you arrive at the student portal, click on the login button here. If you're a new student, your username and password will have been emailed to you before the start of your course. For continuing students, your login details remain the same. If you can't find your login details, click here and there's some different options for sorting out your login, including talking to a real person at the IT help desk. When you log in, you'll see this first page and it's a good idea to keep an eye on the college news and the campus news. There are options at the top here for the news, which we can see on the screen now, then an option to go into your online class spaces. You have a link here to your personal details, to your enrolment information, to your academic results, and then to your financial statements here. There are also buttons to these sections up here. At the very top right, you can log out, change your password, go to your student email account, and also go to the IT how-to guides and the IT help desk. As well as using this link to your online class spaces, you can also use this drop down menu at the top. This is useful if you're a continuing student as the menu has a link to the archived classes you did up to trimester 2, 2016. Let's go into current classes now. Here you'll see a list of the units you're enrolled in. Let's go into Psychology Practice 1, Ethical, Legal and Professional Issues. Each unit has a unit plan which gives you an outline of the content of the unit, including the learning outcomes, the assessments, textbooks and assessment policies. Here in the learning and teaching process section, it explains how this unit includes placement work in the ACAP clinic. Some units have placement components and some don't. The unit guide is where you can find out for each unit. When a unit has a placement component or a research component in the master's program, there will be links in the class space to the Professional Psychology Program Hub, also known as Magnet. The Hub has information on the ACAP clinic, external placements, research projects, and also a place to discuss student issues. As this unit, Psychology Practice 1, includes placement at the ACAP clinic, it has this link to the Magnet ACAP clinic section. We'll look at the Hub Magnet a bit later. Now let's continue to explore this unit class space. The announcements forum here is where your teacher and other school staff will post important information about the course, so check here regularly. The discussion forum is for you and other students to ask questions about the unit and discuss the content. Your teacher is part of this discussion forum too, and it's public to the whole class. If you have a private question for your teacher, email is best. Of course, you need to know who your teachers are and their details are here. You'll find a link to your course guide in each class space. Here they are. Have a look at your course guide if you feel a bit lost about where you're at and what you need to do next. Now, what do you need to do each week for the unit? Let's look. Here there's a lecture section. In addition to attending the lectures on campus, there are slides and extra materials here for individual study. This unit has six weeks of lectures and then four weeks of case presentations. Units can vary in how many lectures they have and what other activities are required, for example tutorials, but everything will be explained for a particular unit in the unit plan. Next we have the assessments. There's an overview of the assessments first and then more details on how to complete each assessment. These links here that start with a hand holding a paper are where you submit your assessments. Okay, previously I mentioned the Professional Psychology Program Hub, which is also known as Magnet. Let's look at that. These links that talk about placements and the ACAP clinic will take you out of the class space and into the hub. Another way of getting to the hub is from your My Classes or My Courses list. Here it is in the My Courses list. So inside the hub, we have some information and contact details for teaching and administration staff. Then we have four sections, ACAP clinic, 
placements, which means external placements, research projects and student issues. Let's look at the ACAP clinic section. You have almost everything you need to work at the ACAP clinic here. Groups information, forms, manuals, the operations guide, referral list, student clinician contact list and the room booking system. If I want to go back to the first page of the hub, the general page, or to a different section of the hub, I can click on this menu at the bottom here. I can also move through the sections with these forward and back arrows. Let's look at the student issues section. There's a discussion forum here where you can raise questions and concerns about the course and read other students' concerns and the school's responses. You won't need all of the information in here right away, but just be aware that it's here when you do need it. Get in touch with us at Learning Support if you have any queries or need specific advice about an assignment you're writing. Good luck with your studies.